that building at North Front Street across from the fire station, I always remember, it was like a long walk for me back then as a child. And I remember going there and every day, as soon as 2.30 and my school was over, I headed to the library. Sundays, the library wasn't open. And Saturdays, I couldn't go because that was the day I had to be home helping mom, you know, with chores and stuff like that. But Monday to Friday, I spent every day at the library at North Front Street. I just knew it as a library. Later on, I understood it was a certain library, but I will never forget having that place and that space that I could go to every day after school to just read. I had all my homework done before 2.30. I hardly had to take anything home because that library time was such a special time for me. And so that was my first exposure to libraries in Belize. And it was on North Front Street, near the Swing Bridge, across from the police station. That was my location where I was outside of school. So that was your first office? That was my first office. That was my first world outside of my home. The 1935, the first branch of the library, you had mentioned Mr. Hamilton and Mr. Monrad Metzkin and yes. uh, Miss Gibson being there from that very beginning. Mm -hmm. um, well, maybe not from the very beginning. She would have been about 12 years old in 1935. No, yeah, I know she... Um, she 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 came in um, some some years after, but uh, I believe she was she was still a teenager at the time, and she was um, working at the library as a secretary to these two people. Okay. Because um, they, 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 these two people stayed there for some time, right? At least until Mr. Bradley was trained in 1954. So she she was there for um, quite some time. Well, Robert Sidney Turton was is um, <clears throat> is described as being um, Belize's um, first um, millionaire, and he was an industrious person. He was involved in um, mahogany and um, mahogany um, logging and export, and this is where he he made his um, his millions from, and. Um, he was also involved to some extent with the first um, political movement in Belize, the People's United Party. Actually, the, the <coughs> George Price used to work with him in his office as a secretary, and he was the one who encouraged um, Price to, to be involved with the People's United Party. And, um, I must mention too that um, Sidney Turton was a sort of anti-colonialist. Most of the people at the time supported colonialism and um, they liked the British and whatnot. And Sidney Turton did not um, really relish them. Actually, his his father was a was a British military man, and his mother was a local Belizean, British and Huron at the time. So that then. Um, <clears throat> Certain encourage Price to, to take up this um, nationalistic attitude, and they formed the, he formed the People's United Party, and that's 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 another history. But um, Turton was a uh, was a very kind man, and he built many homes around many houses around Belize City for. Um, for people who needed the, the, the houses, although they had his trademark, they, they all had yellow yellow windows against the, the white um, background. Some of the houses are still existing today. So one of the houses that um, <clears throat> was built by him was not really for a, uh, for a library. It was a, for a residential um, structure and um, the, the People at the time who who were um, administ admi administering the library sort of um, advocated for for um, for the building to, to, to be used for a library, and so that's that's when um, Sidney Turton donated the, the building on North Front Street to be used exclusively as a library. If it stopped, ceased to be used as a library, then it would revert to the.
Well, North Front Street, as I said, the children's library downstairs at the back. And then upstairs, you had the technical library. And the technical library was strictly nonfiction books um, of a technical nature, as opposed to the Bliss Institute Library, which was fiction and nonfiction and not as, as tech, extremely technical as the technical library was there on North Front Street. The Turtle Library, which is, we have postcards that date that library at around 1892, 90 something like that. And well, so we are looking at a key collection that is housed there. If the fire destroyed that, that would be the end of that. Exactly, exactly. Hmm. And we're talking about material. When you say the National Collection, you're talking about materials on Belize, about Belize. That's right. That's right. Our, our history, so to speak. And so we made an approach to our then minister. I have to say this to our ministers of education have always been very, very... Um, I found that they have always helped us in advancing the library, but at least during the time I've been there. I found them very, very supportive. And so we approached our Minister of Education then, and we, it was agreed that we would move the collection to Belmapan. 